Greetings and salutations everybody and welcome back to Invisible Z channel. I'm your host Invisible from Invisible Z channel sucking at your hearts from the dark side of the moon. Today is the 18th of May 2022, literally 18.05.2022 and uh, today we shall be answering the questions for the second ask me anything questionnaire which i decided to create once per 100 hours mark and since we have managed to reach in my monetization uh, tab the 300th hour mark I believe it is just uh, fair that we make another one of these. <coughs> usually, it's either ask me anything or a few facts. Few facts usually will be after a game has finished. And uh, if 100 hours uh, struck, then it's ask me anything. This time, the enthusiasm wasn't like the previous time, since only two, pers uh, two persons uh, asked me the questions. The subscribers are Pharrell and Laxbear. So let's just keep going and answer these questions with as much honesty as I can. Let's get moving. Arforel asked me 10 questions and Lax Bear asked me 10 questions as well. Let's start with Arforel's questions. No need to make this video too uh, long. Arforel, first question Do you like Taekwondo? Answer Yes, I do like Taekwondo even though I never studied it before as a martial art. But I do respect those who take time to study it and improve themselves. April, second question. Will you adopt at least a peaceful pet such as water snails? Uh, no. I wouldn't because I don't know what a water snail is and uh, a peaceful pet um, in my childhood I adopted maybe three golden fishes and in my adulthood I only ever adopted one cat for the whole family I don't have much experience with the responsibility required for the sake of taking care of these pets so I'd rather not to bring to my uh, household something that would end up dying uh, senselessly sooner or later April third question when will you blog? answer once I learn how to blog and once I learn how to get financial um, advantages some compensation for blogging Arforel, fourth question will you still like your favorite games if they will be played with a Wii controller um, favorite games with the Wii controller maybe not really sure but maybe, because I have no uh, experience with using the Wii controllers, never played anything on the Wii. And uh, most of the games that I play, I just play them because I love their gameplay. So most likely, yes, I would still like them. Controller doesn't really matter. Alphoral. Fifth question. What is your favorite ancient civilization in terms of wealthy for the average Poleritrian? Um, so far, my favorite uh, ancient civilization are uh, the Greek, the Japanese, the Egyptian, 
and the Norse. Obviously, they are all linked to the mythological side. Because I like to study history, I like to read stories about supernatural beings and uh, magic, curses, blessings, etc. So yeah, Alfred's sixth question, favorite song and instrument. Um, I have quite a lot of uh, bands that I enjoy listening to, but mostly I like songs that are uh, with the great lyrics, deep meaning, and for instance, most likely I believe I like the electrical, electrical guitar or the lyre. I like piano also. The thing is, I'm mostly into metal music and songs, into uh, hard rock. I listen mostly to Glubus, Dragon Force, uh, Gets uh, Cared, Linkin Park. Um, recently, I started to listen to Vince Vipt, No Copyright Sounds, Even Nonsense. Within Temptation, um, Skillet, etc. So, yeah, mostly all of them are internet uh, bands only. And they are hard rock with lots of uh, strong messages and uh, lyrics. I hate so much uh, songs with curses in them and uh, sexualizing overly. I hate them. Uh, and for a seventh question, what kind of uh, subreddits you like? Um, hard question, honestly. Since uh, even though I do own a Reddit, um, my subreddits I mostly let me quickly check with um side tab to see what kind of exactly stuff I, I have since it's not really that easy to remember my favorite subreddits as I see from my ho own home page um, are the following uh, ban pitbulls I hate these hillhounds <laughs> Um, Duolingo for the, the language learning, Google Duel from uh, Google's uh, Halloween game, I like also INFJ because that's my personality type, I have um, are my anime list because I use it to keep up with uh, updates for the anime I watch. Uh, our Overlord because I like the show, like novels and uh, manga. I have R slash piracy because they keep me up to date with uh, the most important latest news about piracy, viruses, and whatnot. Let's see here. I also have here uh, r slash uh, privacy, uh, r slash roms, because I support uh, piracy personally, and I support also um, saving video games from deletion, because uh, frankly speaking, uh, nowadays developers and uh, publishers are. Uh, completely unaware of how much uh, value there is in what they make anymore. I have also r slash Shin Megami Tensei. I love the Vega 10 games. r slash Sky Children of Light. Another game that I think I'm going to quit next year. I have also here some kind of uh, contagious uh, laughter, weirdly satisfying, etc. I'm not too big on to read stuff, nor do I post 
anything that's worth it checking out in the first place. I just uh, get whatever uh, the hell there is. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, our friends, uh, if a question, what kind of a person are you in a first? It choices. Uh, Foragar, Hunter, or Goblin. I believe Forger, uh, Forger, Hunter, or Goblin. In a forest, most likely, I'll be a hunter. I'll seek out animals, um, trees, uh, insects, um, sea uh, life, whatnot, and I'll try to get as many uh, food items as possible. Most likely, I believe that goblin means a thief, where you just uh, scavenge, and for uh, forager means the one who builds stuff and uh, makes up the shelter. I don't have much experience in that uh, sort of thing. Our friends, ninth question: Do you know how to make bread? Answer: I do. My parents taught me how to make it, and it's uh, quite uh, easy. We can uh, bake bread whenever it's needed, and we make uh, home pizza as well, which is very nice. And for us, uh, tenth question: Will you ever grow Afro hair? Um, currently, I have some kind of a small ponytail because of the bug. And uh, I ignored uh, going to the barber shop completely because I'd like to see how long it will become until I am forced to cut it. So, first and foremost, Afro hair, I hate it so much uh, because it's uh, very much uh, unclean and sanitary, too much lice possible. And finally, I hate to have a tree above my head. I seriously hate it. I prefer something that's easier to clean. Besides, having an afro hair means it will be a disaster, especially in the bathroom, when you wish to clean your hair. With that, our friends' 10 questions have been answered. Our friends' question 1, do you like Taekwondo? Our friends' question 2, would you adopt at least a peaceful pet such as water snails? Third question, will you blog? When will you blog? Fourth question, would you still like your favorite games if they will be played with a Wii controller? Fifth question, what is your favorite ancient civilization in terms of wealth? for the average polar trillion. Sixth question. Favorite song and instrument. Seventh question. What kind of subreddit do you like? Eighth question. What kind of a person are you in a forest? A. Forager. B. Hunter. C. Goblin. Ninth question. Do you know how to make bread? Tenth question. Would you ever grow afro hair? All of the questions that were asked by Afrel have been answered. I hope that you are satisfied with these answers, Afrel. Thank you very much for your uh, participation in this uh, questionnaire. Let's move now to Lax Bear's questions. Lax Bear has 10 questions exactly. Let's get started. Lax Bear's first question. What do you think of people reproducing? Okay. If uh, the games I play by now and my um, continuous arguments and uh, conversations, mostly with myself, but sometimes with uh, commentators, don't yet give you the answer. I am an anti-human race person. I hate humans. Because so far in our life, they have never brought anything that is good. But everything is either bad, hypocritical, or has some hidden agenda behind it. So what do I think of people reproducing? I think it's one, a waste of time. Two, waste of energy. Three, waste of resources. Four, a destruction of the clean and sanitary area and the environment. Uh, five, 
reproducing is uh, frankly completely unneeded because the world around us is not safe for it the education system is failing us the career market uh, is uh, also failing us and becoming mostly augmented for the, the machine to work for instead of us especially with the most uh, dangerous areas and frankly speaking the idea itself of reproduction as in the sexual acts the intercourse for me is ludicrous to have a person literally piss into someone else's person and insert in that other person the when the male pisses literally sperm into the woman's uh, reductive system and all these sperms are actually parasites and uh, enemies for the self immune system and once the fertilization happens the baby is nothing more than a parasite that is taking from the mother her nutrition her blood her oxygen and giving her nothing more than waste and afterwards once it uh, gets delivered you will have uh, lots of nights of uh, never ending uh, staying up all night long and then once uh, they grow up more raising them itself is a responsibility with uh, tons of cash the bullies the schools i mean frankly speaking the more i think and to watch my parents relationship and how my life has been going through from the age of six when my strongest memory still uh, holds uh, ground until this very moment frankly speaking i will not repeat the mistake that my parents di that my parents done which is reproduction it is simply not worth it the governments around the world um are demanding it even though it's completely pointless and frankly speaking the money i have i can barely hold responsibility for myself to force someone else to live with me when i am not even someone that is worth reproducing with frankly speaking if i had the choice between um getting 100 companions for free completely without the responsibilities at all and between dying i cho i choose death without even thinking for me reprodu reproduction on this planet is not worth it and it's completely a, a waste altogether of everything sorry about my uh, negative and pessimistic view but i am answering you or ask me anything where i have to answer as honest as possible lax bear second question how do you keep your life organized i don't if i have to organize something i simply write it down into a note mostly i take a picture of it with my cell phone or send it to myself as an email or a schedule my uh, short-term memory is very very bad and my long-term memory to strengthen itself up at least i need to have something that shocks the very core from my uh, soul to keep it within my long-term memory instead of the short-term memory only so if i have appointments i keep in mind what uh, they are when they are and if i have classmates or colleagues i check with them beforehand multiple times to know where and when to uh, meet and if uh, there are some deadlines i always keep sh uh, making sure that i have that deadline marked so yeah i do require non-stop scheduling organizing and to-do list i cannot just simply um walk on uh, just with the flow lax bears third question if i want to live stream in the future what requirements software do you recommend okay streaming requires um uh, based on your uh, hardware or the game you wish to 
stream you need a decent uh, graphics card you need storage that's decent you need um operation tuning system that works fine with you an internet connection that is quick and strong and is capable of uh, keeping connected as for as long as possible as for the streaming uh, software itself i currently use obs open broadcast studio i previously used to use uh, fraps though although that uh, software was for most DHD um, computer uh, gaming, not for, uh, necessarily for streaming. You just need to check with uh, what kind of specs you have and what kind of uh, programs you could use. It all really depends on the operation system and how strong your of resources you are prepared to sacrifice for the sake of streaming. But don't forget that although I did stream um, some games uh, with really good quality, I also had to record offline videos because the program I'm using couldn't render their feedback. So you need to check what you have and check what you need. Likes bears 40 question. If you could have your own society of like-minded others with your own set of rules, would you? My own society with like-minded others with my own set of rules, would I have a society like that? What we're talking about mostly is a cult. To have like-minded people with the same ideology and this, uh, with uh, my own personal, personal truths. The answer for that is no. Because when I have a society of like-minded individuals that are all under my own rules, it means that I take responsibility for all of their wrongdoings and right doings. And also such a style would deprive me from uh, my privacy and my specialty as a person because if we are all hive minded like minded that means we make the same decisions i think as uh, one person which destroys the individuality and the specialty lux bears fifth question what is your dream my dream if we are talking like seriously right now would be to become a successful gamer and a successful author. My dream is to create my own passive income just the same way um, the same way uh, JK Rowling may made her own uh, wealth by writing books, turning them into TV shows, turning them into comics, turning them into video games, turning them into films, and then build my own legacy where I build my personal wealth and uh, have my own uh, self-created world to be shown off to everyone, especially that my personal uh, point of view is always uh, realistic, pessimistic, and uh, overall quite nihilistic. I want to show the world what it looks like when uh, an individual with melancholic depression writes something or how I see the world through my own eyes because it's completely different from a person who actually um, uses positive thought. Lux bears sixth um, question. Do you add anyone on Discord? If you so there are some questions and stuff I want to ask and discuss that shouldn't be in public. Would that be okay? I do use Discord, yes. I have a number of channels that I have joined and whenever I uh, find myself uh, free to speak with others, I do look in on it on daily basis and I check who's online and who's offline. 
I don't really mind it. If you wish to speak with me on our free YouTube uh, friends uh, channel, or you want to send me a pers a private uh, message, by all means, feel free to do so. Lux Bear's seventh question: How good of artist are you? Good question, because when I used to be much younger, as in primary school, I used to literally draw complete uh, comics in my art class when it's a freestyle, and I used to make um, storyboards, as in make uh, up some stories and then erase what I had instead of making them flip notes but not but right now as I grew up and grew older for some reason I no longer have my faith in myself to be an artist and when I use the overwhelming extreme details in my writings my parents simply shut down my writing ability as well since they wanted me to focus more on the studying instead of the writing. So, yeah. Uh, I am not a good artist by any means. I do have the talent to not only draw stick figures, but also draw some anime style faces, eyes, characters. I do like uh, the Western. Uh, style of also drawing like from the pop of girls the adventures of tantan the inspector gadget the original one and such nothing too much detailed as long as it's as few details as possible and the message is as clear as possible that's all that matters doug also comes to mind about the simplistic drawing with the drawing like hey arnold and uh, the drawing of uh, the Little Mermaid uh, is a uh, kind of uh, too much detailed. Also, professional anime style uh, drawing is too much detailed that I don't believe I have the patience to go through it. Lux Bear's if a question. I want to learn another language. What are some tips you have? For learning some another language, first and foremost, you need extreme dedication for it. And you need to love learning it for real. I have been studying with Duolingo, the French uh, language, for the past eight years, literally. And uh, I've lost two accounts so far. I can speak some French, but not too much. Then I went and registered into a French school in Canada. And they helped me to create some kind of small conversations so far. Um, the thing is, to learn a new language, you need to have your mind prepared to create newer links because whenever you change languages inside your brain, it's literally as if you are uh, opening the drawer of uh, language uh, files and closing it, and then opening the other, the other one. It's as if you are changing personalities. So yeah, choose the language you want to, uh, to learn, then check the resources you have, and choose the best uh, optim uh, optimized one for you, and try it out. If you don't like it, it's fine, just choose another one. Lux Bear's ninth question. Do you prefer physics, uh, physical media, or digital? I prefer digital. I prefer to read everything as electronic books. I believe to listen to everything as audio files, not cassettes or CDs or DVDs. And uh, I'd rather um, watch videos on the web, not as v uh, uh, VSC uh, tips. However, when it comes to video games, I still prefer the physical media. DVDs, Blu-ray, etc. Because then you have much more control and ownership for what you have bought. Trinity question by Lux Bear. 
Do you think writing on paper should be entirely replaced with typing? Some can go for art. Same can go for art. The answer is no. Because writing on paper with your own hand is essential for um, enhancing and developing your own handwriting uh, font and also for the sake of drawing better. It is correct that uh, using the computer you can just simply draw or write down the bare minimum and the PC will uh, finish for you the rest of it. But again, the artificial intelligence right now is not perfect. So until it uh, evolves a little even more, the right, uh, the hand uh, control and manual writing is still important very much. Writing uh, and typing via the keyboard and the um, other medias is uh, a nice uh, side option, but not permanent. Whatever suits you best, I guess. With that, I have finished uh, answering Black Bear's 10 questions. What do you think of people reprodu pro reproducing? What do you keep? Uh, how do you keep your life organized? If you want to live stream, if I want to live stream in the future, what equipments or software do you recommend? If you could have your own society of like minded others, with your own set of rules, would you? What is your dream? Do you add anyone on Discord? And if you, so, there are some questions and stuff I want to ask and discuss. You shouldn't be in public. Would that be okay? How good of an artist are you? I want to learn another language. What uh, are some tips you have? Do you prefer physical? media or digital do you think writing on paper should be entirely replaced with typing same as for art with that being said now Afril and Lux Bear's questions have been answered I'm going to go ahead and delete the list for the questions since we are officially done with it before we finish this video I'd like to state something important. In the previous uh, weeks or so, I've been publishing my already pre-uploaded videos for the Prince of Persia trilogy, and I haven't been recording anything much, thanks mostly for the midterms that I am, have been having. And I'm feeling seriously very bad for not recording anything. So I'm thinking, frankly, about recording some uh, streams in private as well. At least for the games that I doubt anyone would like to watch or to finish off the games that are more of a sure than they are entertainment. So if you think that I should just stream online and wait until all the offline um, backup uploads are done let me know and if you think it's better if I just uh, record something currently while the call order finishes and then send back to live streaming is, is better then inform me as well it's either offline um, private streaming where once the poll for uh, Prince of Persia the Two Thrones is done, then I would publish my private streams as official public streams and uh, one their hour count, or just wait for until all the videos for Prince of Persia games are finished and then proceed to start recording the new stuff live with commentary with everyone. The thing is, um, the Takeru Deception games that would be coming after the Prince of Persia, and maybe also add uh, the DLCs for Dungeons 3, have multiple endings, and a very lengthy storyline. And I highly doubt that within 20 videos only, we will be able to actually finish the story this time, because it is very lengthy. So I'll leave that for you to decide. 
since you are the ones who watch this videos anyway also i've been told previously that some of you enjoy my content with live commentary because they use it as white noise and not even as uh, actual let's plays and uh, hint, hints which means that merely having a static or blank background like right now and listening to my uh, voice for some of you is much more preferred than to actually play the game show you how to finish it and what kind of techniques to use and uh, spend the time to showcase it so if you believe truly that my voice should just be um white noise for those who would like to get some mid work distractions and stuff for me and maybe i would start working more seriously on the narrator project but frankly speaking, whenever I am listening to my personal voice, I don't really like it at all. So I'm not really sure which is the true statement here. Should I just keep my voice to be white noise, or should I make uh, it worthwhile? Anyway, with that being said, I believe that this will be it for this Ask Me Anything the second. Thank you very much for Arfarel, and thank you very much for Lux Bear for their beautiful sets of questions. Each of them, 10 questions, 10 questions. And hopefully, I shall have my next uh, coming Ask Me Anything by the 400th our count which means literally after 100 hours from this very moment this has been with you invisible from invisible's gaming channel struggling at your hearts from the dark side of the moon and this has been with you ask me anything the second video till next time invisible with you sign out peace be upon you all take care good luck and stay safe and healthy till next time